Every year, about 100,000 people die globally from snake bites. It's quite an astonishing number. Most of these people are in Africa, Asia, and Latin America, but snakes can kill and injure people wherever snakes bite people. I think most people know the basic common sense advice about snake bites. You should try to remember what the snake looks like, you should keep the body parts still, and you should immediately seek medical attention, because medical intervention could save your life. The kind of help you could get at a hospital might include support if your breathing becomes difficult, an anti-venom if there's a suitable type available, and help managing the pain and treating any infection. But guess what? You can bypass inconvenient hospitals and pesky doctors because there are alternative medicines for snake bites being promoted on YouTube, if you're that fucking stupid. So if you want to gamble and go up against a King Cobra with a Dr. Robert Morse tincture like Lymphatic 3, it's only going to cost you $30, and possibly your life. So why not head over to godsherbs.com, which is absolutely the kind of URL you should visit to purchase a snake bite cure. Hold up. That's sarcasm. That's sarcasm, okay? So there might be actual Robert Morse subscribers watching this video. They honestly believe this crap. So yes, I was watching this clip on Robert Morse's channel the other day. It's only three minutes long. The title is Snake Bites, Spike Proteins, and More. But he only discusses snake and spider bites in this YouTube. I guess the rest is over on his website. When I saw this title, I thought there's no fucking way. I thought there's no way Robert Morse is that bold and his subscribers are so gullible that he could make a video saying that you can treat a snake bite with one of his magic potions. But I've been caught with my pants down again. And after all these years, I still overestimate the intelligence of Morse and his gormless followers. So here's why Robert Morse thinks his formulas are suitable for treating snake bites. He watched a documentary on National Geographic or maybe Discovery Channel where he saw a mongoose try to kill a snake. The mongoose was bitten by the snake, but it didn't die. And then the mongoose went and ate a load of plantain leaves. And then, kind of like Popeye, it came back and killed the snake. Robert Morse says his formulas Lymphatic 1 and Lymphatic 3 have a lot of plantain leaves in them, so in Robert Morse's head, based on his reasoning about what he saw on National Geographic and the mongoose, that makes these a suitable treatment for snake bite. And that's the full developmental process behind this treatment. Honestly, I have done far more research crafting potions in Skyrim. And it will unlock subcategories on the left side there, like you saw Restore Health just pop up. If you mix these two ingredients, it's a paralysis potion because the Restore Health effect is second to the paralysis effect. So has Robert Morse's formula been tested for efficacy in the lab or in animals? No. Has Robert Morse tested it on himself? No, of course not. Or have any of his followers uh, tried it on themselves after a snake bite? Well, he hasn't mentioned anyone, although I guess anyone who did try that may not have lived to report back to Morse. Do mongooses or mongeese even eat plantain leaves to make themselves immune to snake bites? No, as far as I can tell, it seems like they just have some natural resistance to snake venom based on changes to a certain protein receptor, but they also rely on their speed and agility. And there are other resistant animals like hedgehogs and honey badgers. Mongooses eat snakes because they're hungry and they're crazy, not because they're herbalists. Of course, beaming out this message to his US-based subscribers is probably slightly lower risk. After all, they only have to contend with rattlesnakes. But Morse spreads his message globally. You only have to scroll a few comments down to find raw, vibrant rejuvenation extolling the power of plantain. Now, he's living in Bali, where you can find the island pit viper, the Javan spitting cobra, the Malayan cobra, Great. And of course, the King Cobra. Oh, and by the way, he makes vibrant videos like this one. What's up, guys? This is raw vibrant. I've been crying for two and a half hours, so. <laughs> and that's why I'm making this. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. Sorry, I'm inside. This guy looks like he's on about 5 HP. I don't think he'd be surviving an encounter with an earthworm, let alone a pit viper. And if he was bitten, I doubt he'd be able to twist the cap off his bottle of lymphatic one before he'd even get to discover it wouldn't save him anyway. This is another in my series of videos about Robert Morse. It still amazes me that he remains on YouTube and he's heading towards 200,000 subscribers. I'm not going to be talking about the science here because as usual, there really isn't much to discuss. Robert Morse just says some asinine nonsense about the lymphatic system, but he still tries to sell you a blood formula, whatever the fuck that is. 
And I'm sure some absolute whopper cooked out of their tree on a lemon fast will be in the comments defending Morse of some stupid crap like Well he didn't say that you shouldn't go to the hospital, he just said you should try lymphatic 1, lymphatic 3, brain and health f Let me stop you there. It is fantastically and astonishingly irresponsible to discuss any course of action in response to a snake bite other than the clear sequence of actions that you should take to save your life. You should try to remember what the snake looks like, you should keep the body parts still, and you should immediately seek medical attention. At no point should you be fumbling around in your fanny pack trying to dig out your lymphatic one. In the best case scenario, it will do absolutely nothing for you. In the worst case scenario, it's gonna be a false reassurance like a smoke alarm with no batteries, or it might even be a deadly distraction like a novelty fire extinguisher. Delaying or ignoring snake bites is a real problem and an easy way to make the consequences worse. So don't. And I know that Robert Morse thinks he's nothing but peace, love, and light, but he's actually an enormous piece of shit for trying to profit by selling his snake oil as a snake bite cure now. Now, I'll include a short clip of the key points that Robert Morse made in his video for the sake of history. Maybe sometime in the distant future, his video will be taken down, either by Morse or YouTube. You never know. Stranger things have happened. We haven't talked uh, in a while about what do you do when you're facing spider bites, uh, snake bites, things like this. And for those that go trekking out in the woods like me, uh, you're always uh, looking at rattlesnakes, stuff like that. We've got a lot of rattlesnakes around here. If you feel like you've gotten bit, and you get settled with that. A blood formula is, it would be perfect. A lymphatic one or three or both. Kidneys for sure, because you want to be sure you're filtering and cleaning this, uh, these poisons out of you.